I'm at a building site in Bismarck, North Dakota, and if you ever wanted to know why the houses in America seem to blow away real easy in a tornado, well, this is it. The walls are made of chipboard, the roofs are made of chipboard, and the framing's all timber. I mean, look at how many trusses they use. It's to support the weight of the snow on the roof so they don't collapse, but the rest of the houses are built so weak. And uh, houses in Canada are built the same. I've seen huge hotels like 10 stories high built like this, chipboard. They'll have big columns out the front that uh, look like stone, but they're stone glued onto chipboard to make them look fancy underneath. And so they call it string board. And that's all it is, just bloody chips. I'm just here unloading some two by sixes to make the walls. Look at this shit man, you're allowed to even ride your four wheeler down the street with no helmet on. Unbelievable. Now, here's a sight I don't think I'll ever get to see again. You never know, it might, but um, look at that. Freeway, five lane freeway, not a single vehicle on it. Why? Because we've got big floods over here and they've shut down a lot of the interstates. And uh, I'm heading to Chicago, usually at this time of the day, I'd be crawling along at about 5 k's an hour in a traffic jam. And uh, I've got about three vehicles in front of me, four behind me, and absolutely nothing on the other side of the road and the other, going in the other direction. So this is, yeah, hopefully it will be good. Get me there a bit quicker than I thought. Because I've just been held up for um, about 25 minutes in a traffic jam on a small uh, back highway trying to get here, so... Yeah, it's actually quite spooky to see. As I said, I have middle, middle of uh, rush here and uh, five lanes of uh, concrete interstate, not a single vehicle on it. used to this having four lanes to myself. It'd be like being horse on his legs all the time.
Hey everybody, I thought I'd just give you a quick look at this uh, truck here that uh, the Great American Insurance Company is giving away as a prize. Uh, you don't have to buy a ticket or nothing, all you do is just uh, put your name in the drawer and they're going to draw it at one of the big truck shows. And uh, bloody beautiful truck, clean lines, very nice. And uh, when I saw, first saw it, I thought that uh, you know that it must be brand new. Well, believe it or not, it's uh, it's not a new truck. It, uh, I know it looks like it, nice and shiny that, but it's actually a 2006 model that has been um, well souped up, I guess, cleaned up and remanufactured. So I'm just going to show you his inside. I mean everything, the door trim, uh, the steps. Uh, everything about the truck is very, very clean. Uh, absolutely amazing. It's actually like uh, it's like a new truck. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's uh, one of the nicest Kenworths I've certainly actually ever seen. Even the cup holders are chromed. See, they actually uh, they do have real roads over here in Canada. This is actually a section of highway that they've got all ripped up. They're going to redo. And um, yeah, she's just a corrugated bloody gravel road, very similar to the sort of the gravel that we get around home. And uh, that granite sort of gravel. And yeah, so just like driving on the roads back home, I feel very much at home when I'm driving along this sort of stuff. It feels like, uh, I don't know, it feels like a lazy Sunday afternoon coming home from somewhere in, out west. Stop. Too far. It's going to fall off. 